So we're talking and I said, OK, I got to go to over this other building now. Um, doesn't matter where. And he says, oh, if, do you have your car with you? Yeah, I got here. I drove. Can you give me a ride? So if you don't know me, my car is disgusting. So I got to tell this guy and this guy's all nice, tucked in shirt. You know, have normal arms and legs, so just like a normal person, right? A very, very clean looking stuff. So I said, look, I'm going to level with you. My car is disgusting. It's up to you. I'd be more than happy to drive you over, but it's 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 nasty. He does the thing. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. If you give me a ride, I had to tell this guy, you don't understand. I know people joke around when they say, oh, my car is disgusting, you know, and they mean there's a bottle or something. I'm talking croissant crumbs, old donut sprinkles, glaze on the dashboard, dried Slurpees. Who knows what's in there? I mean, there was food material on the seat. Didn't listen to me. We get out there. I said, I won't be offended if when you see it, you change your mind. What do you think happens? I open the front door, show them the situation says, don't worry about it. I'm going to take an Uber. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to talk about uh, packaging and deploying uh, Microsoft apps for 365, which is Office 365. I prefer saying Office. But, you know, in the past, we've always done it with the uh, built-in configuration designer. We're going to show you how to actually deploy it as a Win32 package today. Yeah, no, look, I warned him. I laid it all out. I said, I look like I'd be on one of those shows that you would watch and be like, how does this guy live with his car like this? Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and look at Intune, as always. And I just want to show you what I'm talking about when I talk about the standard way to deploy Office. I'm sure you're familiar. If you're familiar with this, you can just skip it. But when I go to apps and go to Windows, and when I go to add an application, we all know about the Win app, Win32. That's our Intune Win. And typically for Office, we use Microsoft 365 apps, Windows 10 and later. And this allows us to basically build out um, a deployment. It's more of a policy than a package. And we're going to hit next um, and we can use their configuration designer for this and the configuration designer lets us select which apps we want to use um, any additional apps is it 64 is it 32 bit um, what kind of update channel do we want so the, the point of this is this will get office on the device for us the problem with this though is this is more of a policy especially in the way that it's tracked so it's not a true application this becomes very problematic during the enrollment status page um, and especially lately in our autopilot v2 testing. And there's a few reasons for this, one of which is, you know, because it's a policy, it's firing off apps by itself, depending on what it's installing, it might bootstrap with some MSIs. So it's kind of hard to, to really get a handle on it, especially when we're locking it in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through packaging it like any other Win32 app. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to make a folder for Office 365. I'm gonna keep calling it Office. And we need two important things. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is the Intune, sorry, Office Deployment Tool. So the Office Deployment Tool is basically the uh, executable to download and install Office. And it's a command line tool um, as well, and this gives us kind of some options in deploying it. So we go ahead and download that. So we just download the Office Click to Run and Deployment Tool, Administration Tool, whatever. Um, where do we want to put it? I want to put this inside Desktop Office 365. So we went ahead and extracted that. That's my new folder, and let's look what's inside. So they gave us a few things. This is the setup exe we need. Um, we also definitely need some kind of XML configuration. And if you look at these, these are pretty straightforward. I'll open them with Notepad. It's basically just telling us um, what kind of product to add, right? So in this case, it's doing the full Office 365 Pro, Pro Plus Retail, uh, Visio Pro Retail. Um, obviously, we can enable updates, true or false. It's basically just the settings, same way you would go through Intune. 
Um, I don't want to use any of their predefined settings, so I'm actually going to go ahead and kick these away. I don't need them. I just need the setup. All right, we'll come back to that. And the other thing we need is the Office Customization Tool. And the Office Customization Tool is a web app, and this allows us to create a manifest, an XML manifest, uh, a configuration to tell us how we want it to install. So the two basically work together that way. So I'm gonna make my own XML with this tool. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna start with products, 64-bit, that's fine. Office Suite. I want M365 for apps for enterprise, no Teams. Teams we're gonna do separately. I don't want any Visio, so I can leave that set to none. I don't want any project. I don't want anything additional. I just want the core apps. Update channel. We're gonna do the current channel. That's fine. And the latest version. Notice it offers you the last few releases. Um, so now here is where I can determine what else I want. I don't want access. I don't want a publisher. I don't want, no, I think I'm good here. OneNote, PowerPoint. Uh, I actually don't want OneNote either. Why not? Let's make this a little custom here. Um, OneDrive is fine. Excel, PowerPoint, Word. I don't want the background service for Bing. No, sorry. No thanks. Um, language. I'm going to set this to match the operating system language, but you can also add additional language packs here if you want to. Okay, so next up is the installation. So I want to deploy Office from the CDN. That's literally the Office you know, site, the content delivery network. That means from Microsoft. And is this show installation to the user? No, I want this to be off. I want it to be silent. No one needs to know anything. We're, we're doing autopilot, shut down running applications. Uh, I could do this. I don't really need to worry about it because I'm not gonna have Office there beforehand and it's storing autopilot, but let's leave it on. Um, update and upgrade. Uh, uninstall any MSI versions of Office, includes, including Visio and Project. I'm going to leave this. This would uninstall previous versions. Um, I'm actually going to leave it off. Sorry, I said leave it. We're going to turn that off. We don't have previous versions, so we're going to be fine there. Um, I also don't want it to, uh, you know, affect anything else I have going on. Automatically upgrades the selected architecture. Well, I already chose 64-bit, so yeah, let's leave that on. Licensing. I'm going to use the user-based licensing. We're not using shared computers. General. Uh, you can basically provide some organization notes. Um, you can set, you know, kind of that about... Set your organization data on the company property for office stuff. I'm not worried about that. And application preferences. So, um, you know, you can set a whole bunch of other settings here, though. I'm going to hit export and before I do, it's going to ask me the default file format and I'm going to choose open XML formats. That's the standard uh, Word, PowerPoint, Excel document uh, file associations. So we're going to hit OK. I accept. We're going to call this Steve Office. That's my configuration. Um, actually, I'm going to call this, oh, I changed my mind, I'm going to call this install. And we're going to export this. Now we have it, install.xml. Maybe this isn't the first time I've done this, but that's okay. I'm going to hit copy. And then we're going to go back to our file here, our folder, sorry, and paste this in. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of that little one. We don't need that. Okay, so now we have an install XML. And if we want to look at it, we have the office we are pushing, matching the OS. Shared computer licensing, no. Uh, force shutdown, true. Device licensing, no. You can see we're setting the uh, default app configuration settings. The uh, none level is so, uh, the display level is set to none. So this is everything we want. And we've excluded the apps we don't want as well. So this is great. This is exactly what we want. You can see it's the O365 Pro Plus, uh, no Teams retail. We are in great shape here. So that's my install manifest, but what about uninstall? So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to create an uninstall XML. And this is gonna be, oh, what did I do? Hit the wrong thing. Ah, my keyboard broke. Uninstall XML. Now an uninstall XML is very, very simple. So we're just gonna walk through it together here. So we make the configuration block. 
configuration. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. I did that for you guys. I can see just fine. Not really. Configuration. Okay, so that's our configuration block. Next, we're going to do our display level. And this is going to be none. So the silent uninstall, basically. Except uh, EULA equals true. Property name is force app shut down, which of course we want to do if we're uninstalling. And the value is equal to true. Finally, we need a remove block. And the remove block says product ID. And what we're going to put here is the same, you know, close that with product. This is going to be the same product ID we had here. All right. And that'll take care of it. So this is going to be our uninstall. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, I didn't, I didn't close that properly. Okay. So real quick before we package, uh, I just want to come back in the uninstall here. We actually don't need the no teams part. It could just be 0365 pro plus retail. Cause that's the product name in the install. We're just using that to uh, kind of pick the flavor we want. So that's all you don't need that there. So that's our uninstall config. So now I have the install, the uninstall, and the setup. Um, the last thing we need here is just our content uh, prep tool, or we can run it right from wherever it is. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to run the command prompt. Uh, see Microsoft Intune Win app till. All right, so that's where I keep my Win32 tool. I'm going to uh, point it to the container of C users, Steve, desktop, office 365. The setup file is going to be setup.exe and my output is going to be the exact same place. Uh, users, Steve, desktop, office. And now I should have setup.intune.win. All right. Let's get this guy in Intune and go over the command lines, detection rules, all that fun stuff. We go to Windows, Add, uh, Windows App, Win32, and we're going to select the Intune win we just made. That is going to be Desktop, Office, Setup. So of course, we're going to want to say Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise. And we'll give it a little description. We'll say Microsoft, Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise, Office 365 apps, including, and we'll say includes Word, PowerPoint. PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook. I don't remember what else we put in, but that's good enough for now. We're just leaving it. Just want to look a little legit. Microsoft. And of course, just to be fancy, I went ahead and got the new app logo for Office. So, you know, oh, we'll use that. Perfect. So our install command is going to be the setup.exe file. We need to add the configure switch and then we're going to tell it to use the install XML. Now this is the same thing as uninstalling. You still trigger everything from the setup.exe, only we're going to do configure uninstall.xml. So it's very simple. Um, we're going to do it as system. We can do unavailable. That's fine. Whatever architecture, 64 bit. It's fine. Uh, minimum OS we will do 2004. Um, rules, we're going to manually do the detection rules. So for this, I find the best thing to do is the registry path. So what we can do here is we can do HKLM software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, 
current version, uninstall, and we can point to O365 Pro Plus Retail. Uh, that will be Pro Plus Retail space dash space en dash us because that's the actual name of the product um and that should be it we really don't need a value we can just see if the key exists and let's go ahead i'm going to make this required to my autopilot group so we're going to say autopilot device prep APV2 and it should tell me, okay, it'll go ahead and upload. It's not a huge file. So why don't we go ahead and see how this works. I'm going to take a new client that we just made and we're going to run this through autopilot V2 just because it's quicker. Don't have to upload the hardware hash or anything. Okay, so we'll sign in. Uh, let's do Bruce Wayne again. It's the .com. All right, so we're about to go through the setup, and this is where it's going to install the Madman extension, start tracking. We don't need to get into a whole autopilot thing again, but let's see what happens when I get to the desktop here. Okay, so we just got here at the desktop. Um, it looks like my apps are there. I'm going to go ahead and open Outlook. And I did choose the user license, so it should pick up that. All right, so it looks like Outlook signed me in. Uh, I am licensed as the user, which is good. I'm just going to try one more. So we got Word. Yep, also signed in as the user. Let's go look for that reg path just to make sure our detection rule was, was all good. So it was HK and software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, uninstall. Oh, 365, there it is, look. Pro Plus Retail ENUS. So, so we are good. One thing I do want to do that I just realized is I want to change my detection rule because it looks like it's showing as failed, but it didn't actually fail. So I believe what I did, and hopefully you caught this while you were watching it, maybe I'm just testing you, is instead of HKLM colon, we're just going to do HK local machine. Okay, H key local machine. And that should do it for us. So we'll let that sync and uh, hopefully we'll get a good detection back. So it's kind of interesting. I personally have not had too many issues in the past when using the built in Intune method, but it seems lately, um, not just with Autopilot V2, but with, you know, Windows 11, 20H2, 23H2 in general. Um, I have been noticing slowdowns when Office is in the ESP. So um, in more recent deployments and folks I'm working with, I do package it now and it seems to go a little smoother. So I figured it was time to sit down and just make sure everyone knew the correct way to package. Uh, notice we left out Teams. Um, you know, it's an interesting thing with Teams because it's not really part of Office, even if it is included with it, it's got its own install behavior. Uh, but especially now with the new Teams, Right. There's a few things I want to go over, but we're going to save that for next time. Uh, so we'll be seeing you.